All right, we're gonna do some camping tonight. Getting the drawer all filled up with all my uh, snowboarding gear. Just making sure I have everything. Uh, gonna be able to test out the heater fixed, see if it's good. I'm gonna get everything packed and put together and I'll kind of show you after everything's put together what it looks like. All right, so here it is all done up. I folded out the mattress. It's a six inch memory foam mattress. I have uh, my battery bank here for charging my cell phone and whatnot. Uh, this time I was smart and brought a, this is a heated blanket that I may try to use if for some reason I have issues with the heater. Um, I believe, I believe this is everything for snowboarding. Um, and inside, so I built this box to connect to the hose from the heater and that way I can uh, move that around and this is kind of stable. I've noticed in the morning it's pretty nice to put your socks or gloves on to warm them up because it, this holds the heat pretty good. But yeah, it's pretty comfortable in here. So I'm gonna, I'm still waiting on traffic, but I will uh, talk to you guys again once I get ready to head out. So this is what we're dealing with right now. It is, uh, I think it's almost two in the morning. And apparently I think a trailer jackknifed. So kind of stuck in traffic. It says I'll should be where I'm trying to be at 240, but I'm not sure I believe that. And on top of it, I'm running into transmission issues. So not the best. I tried to leave late so that I would miss traffic, but didn't seem to uh, help at all. What is up guys? Out doing a camping trip. Uh, this time we're heading out to Winter Park after a failed attempt last week going to Copper. Uh, I'll insert some clips from last week, from last Friday night, but I left it. 12.30 at night and got stuck at Loveland Pass. There was so much traffic, the snow was so bad, and so many people had just two-wheel drive cars getting stuck. So I uh, had to turn around after driving for two hours. Kind of sucked. I left at 2.30 and got home at about 4 in the morning. So it's kind of a bummer, and I didn't get to snowboard last weekend, but I'm at the top of Bertha Pass right now. I'm gonna flip it around to show you guys. It is coming down. So I'm looking forward to riding tomorrow. So after I fixed the heater, um, I got to test it, but this is gonna be the first camping trip to test it. So what I like to do is stop somewhere with when I have just a little bit of time left. Uh, to get to the, where I'm camping and start the heater that way by the time I get down there it'll hopefully be a, a little bit warmer I, it's still not going to be warm because it's moving but um, so while I'm up here stopped I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll take you along uh, for this snowy cold start Oh, the snow is deep. All right, pump just turned on. Good sign. I'm not liking the look of this. It's not starting up. What I think I'm gonna do is thinking this 
fuel maybe a little bit. That seems pretty good. I'm gonna put this heated blanket around it anyways and then get down to a little bit lower elevation and see how it fares once I get down there. All right, it's on, heated blankets on. I'm gonna start heading down. I wonder also, cause I think the wind's blowing kind of into the exhaust and I've heard that that can also mess it up. So I'm gonna try to get out of the wind and maybe get make sure the truck's the right way for the wind. Though, just tried starting up again. We got one bar now. Oh, got two. Sounds like he's trying to do it. Oh, just died again. All right, I'm gonna head down. It is still snowing pretty good. I think there's gonna be probably about six inches or more of snow when I get out of the truck, as it looked pretty deep. Um, but good news is the heater did start and stay on while I finished the drive down from the top of the pass. So I'm hoping it'll be nice and not super freezing in there. I don't know if it's gonna be toasty. Holy hell, that snow is deep. I got that. Just dug me a little path at least to get to the truck. And now it's time to shut the hatch. So I wanted to show you guys the things that I have in here when I use the diesel heater because if something catastrophic were to happen, um, there'd be a possibility of carbon monoxide poisoning. So I have one of these that I keep and just put it off to the side. And then this bad boy, just a little temperature gauge just to see what temperature it is inside here. It's showing it's 27 and it's slowly rising now that I got it shut. So this last time uh, that I went, I noticed I was it was getting a lot warmer in here when I had this kind of area right here. In this area um, covered, I noticed that all these around the edge and the bottom and the other side are letting air in. So I just brought a sheet and I'm gonna try to tuck it in around those edges and just see if how much better it is. I have a feeling it's gonna help a ton. It's 11.37. Uh, I'm gonna finish trying to clean out all the snow so that in the morning it's not all wet. And then uh, once I'm done with that, I want to see how much time had gone by and what the temperature is. So, right now, I'll just see, leave it in the center, leave it in the center of the, the truck, like on the sleeping bag, and then we'll see what temperature it is when I'm done. Right now, it's already up to 37 in here, so. All right, it's 11.52. I ended up having to go out twice, so I had to open the hatch twice. Um, and it's already 52 degrees in here, even with that. This thing warms up pretty quick. Definitely highly recommend the diesel heater, even though they may be a little bit of a pain sometimes uh, at altitude. I guess hit the, hit the sack and if anything interesting happens, I'll let you know. Uh, it's about two in the morning. We got plow coming through. It snows pretty freaking deep. Let's see if you can see out here. No, he's 
I've already gone by house show in the morning. So I haven't had the heater on full. See, it is 61 in here next to the door or next to the window. Got woken up. Yeah, like this. Look how much snow he just pushed. What's up, guys? It is 6.50. Didn't get as much sleep as I wanted to because this thing went off a couple times. I ended up opening that window, the window behind that and that, and it seemed to have taken care of it. But now I get to see why there is uh, carbon monoxide coming in. It was only showing about 70 parts per million, but still not what you want to see. What is up guys? It's 7.23 a.m. My buddy Matt uh, called me at 6.50-ish and said, hey, I'm down at Mary Jane Base. So got up and drove over here. Took a little bit of time, took about 30 minutes to get everything cleaned up on the truck. But came back, got back in the bed, got back in bed, and look at that. There's the lifts right there. Pretty sweet. He woke me up at 7, or at 6.50, and glad he did, because I'd probably still, still be asleep right now. All right, on the lift. Look at this line. First run. There's a few people here. Guess that's what you can expect for a nice pow day. But here with Matt. What's up? Did some camping. He came. He got up real early this morning, and so I mean, you see that, and it's worth it. Man. Yeah, we got some some good stuff here. So get some videos as we ride today. All right, Matt. Look at this powdy pow. All on you. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good boy. Oh, that's surfing. Finished up the day, got some uh, good sushi tacos in Winter Park, and head back home. It's a, it was a crazy good powder day. Had a great time. So just heading back home. It's got about an hour drive, but luckily no real traffic. So thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.